In this problem, we're given a graph and we're asked to find the equation. So hopefully you have good knowledge of graphs and you can look at this and recognize that this is either a secant graph or a cosecant graph because of the shape of it. That's the first step. So let's just kind of jot that down over here. We think it's some kind of a secant graph or a cosecant graph. Now, if you remember the way that you graph secant and cosecant is by using the sine and the cosine graphs. Uh, that go with them. So that's what we want to think about is we want to think about how the sine and cosine graphs might look um, that are associated with this. And so these points will be on the sine and cosine graphs. The other thing is that the asymptotes of this particular graph, which are going to be, let's see, can we find an asymptote? It looks like maybe at pi over 4. Uh, pi over 2, 0, negative pi over 4, negative pi over 2. So the asymptotes of the graph that we're trying to find the equation of will be the places where the corresponding sine or cosine graph have an output of 0. Okay, so I can already start to see what the sine or cosine graph might look like here, right? It's going to kind of go like this. Now, if I can get the equation of this sine or cosine graph, then all I have to do is change to secant or cosecant, and I'll have my equation. Okay, so to get this graph, then we need to look at uh, period and amplitude. It's kind of, okay, I'll quit messing with that. So let's look at the period. What's the period of either one of these graphs should be the same? So it looks like maybe from here to here, we could do a period. There's lots of other places you could find a, the period. Oh, I think I need to go a little bit farther, don't I? How about there to there? All right, so it looks to me that the period of this guy is uh, pi over 2. And that would correspond also with the period of this secant or cosecant graph which would be found by doing something like that, all right? So what we need to figure out is our omega value, and that omega value that I'm referring to would be um, in the form something like this, omega x, or cosine. This could also be a cosine here. And that omega determines the period. So we know that the period is determined by 2 pi over omega. So 2 pi over omega equals pi over 2. All right, so we need to solve this for omega. We can multiply both sides by omega and then uh, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of pi over 2, oops, which is 2 over pi. And then we will have it solved. What are we going to have here? The pi's are going to cancel. We're going to get 4 equals omega. So that's going to go in our equation. That's going to go right there. Okay, awesome. We got that. Now we need to figure out the amplitude. And so we can find the amplitude by looking right here, right? You could also go, uh, when you do some uh, vertical shifts up and down, the center, so to speak, the center may not be at zero. So another way to think about the amplitude that's going to help you moving forward is look at the difference between the highest point and the, lo and the uh, lowest point of this sine or cosine graph, and that's 10. So the amplitude is 5. Now remember, technically, the absolute value of A is the amplitude. Oops, amplitude. Uh, amplitude. Okay, so it's hard to spell and talk at the same time. There we go. So we know that our amplitude is 10, or excuse me, 5, half of that. So the absolute value of A is going to be 5. So our A value is either 5 or negative 5, and that's going to depend on whether we need our graph to 
uh, reflect over the x-axis. Okay, so let's take a look at this yellow piece right here, this highlighted yellow piece. Is that a sine or a cosine? All right, hopefully you said a sine. Now technically every sine graph could be a cosine graph if you're shifting vertically, um, excuse me, horizontally, if you're shifting horizontally, but we don't want to think about that. We want to try to make it as easy as possible. If I think of this as a sine graph that's been reflected over the x-axis, remember sine goes up and then down and back up, so this is just reflected over the x-axis. So we are going to want our a value to be negative 5 to reflect that fact that it is reflected over the x-axis. Okay, so our amplitude is going to be negative 5, and we've determined that we have a sine flipped over. Okay, so this is the formula for the red bit, the dotted part. Now, the blue part, which is actually what we're trying to find, that would be the reciprocal function of the red part. And so the reciprocal function for sine is cosecant. So our final answer, let's do it in beautiful purple. Our final answer is going to be y equals negative 5 cosecant, cosecant of 4x. And that is our answer for the equation of the graph that we were given.